what's going on guys we're back working on the 72 cutlass um as you have seen we went ahead and pulled both front i mean uh both front fenders uh left and right side um just so that way we can see what kind of damage uh and also so that way we could get to the hinges um for the doors because neither door handles are working um and now that we've kind of looked a little bit deeper into the uh the car um a lot more work is actually well it's, it's a whole lot more work than what we thought we was going to get into um of course we already knew what we was that this was going to be a long project but uh the amount of rust that is on the car pretty much almost every piece is going to be touched or replaced um there's actually nothing that is perfect um which that kind of goes to get um the person that you're going to be buying the vehicle from or any 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 vehicle or anything get bunches of bunch of pictures and or videos or whatever when it comes to this car we absolutely uh did not get any pictures of what the actual car looked like it was uh we just knew what it was and at the time for the price like i said um i couldn't turn it down but uh now that we see um i mean i've actually we'll talk more about it here soon we don't know what route we're going to take on the other one but when we got this car in some other person contacted me and wants me to buy their 72 chevelle um i went out there and looked at it and they're actually wanting almost two times if not three times as much as i bought this car for and uh it needs almost the amount of work that this car needs but i think a couple of their panels is actually really good um, in good condition it isn't as rusted as this car is hell we can't even get the doors off of them because the hinges on the inside are so rusted um so we're still working on that once we get the doors off we're going to pull the interior out the dash everything gut gut it um put uh beams on the inside to hold it straight weld those in and then pick the whole car body up and put it on a rotisserie um, so that way we can wheel it around the shop and then start working on the frame and then once we start working on the frame I've already started to look at parts and everything that we need for this car um, Not only that of course the Duramax needs to get done so that way we can push this car on back um, but uh, I mean it, it's a decent it'll be a decent car whenever we get done but it is a lot of work of course um this is a, a two-year build is what we're looking at to the route that we want to go and not only that is we have to have this is a personal project so it gets pushed you know even further back because we can't work on this car all the time um so it will be fun and we'll get a bunch of footage of us doing a whole bunch of stuff to the car um not gonna say exactly what we're going to do motor wise and everything but uh it isn't going to be an original original motor and everything we're actually going to add some horses to this thing and uh hopefully get on the racetrack but that comes later um some pros that this car has is actually all the windows inside the car work uh, some of them fell off track but uh the glass is fine uh the rear glass the rear glass is also great um it is it is one piece no cracks no nothing car but the windshield uh is separating it is a two-piece windshield so it is separating so we will have to get a new windshield for it along with all the gaskets and everything uh or seals uh but when we get new doors and everything at least we'll have the glass um, that we can replace uh another good thing this car has is all the chrome trim is on the car and is in really good condition that could be if it there might be a few pieces that aren't the best but most of it can be sent off if we did want to re-chrome it uh, we can send it off and have it re-chromed um 
the grill on the front the front and rear bumper are, are garbage uh we'll get new ones we've already been looking at some different ones that are online that really isn't that bad um we've got a well we've looked at interior and everything else uh I, I know we're not going to replace or uh, go with the grill that we have. We're actually going to go with a uh, 442 grill because it's kind of got an opening for it. Uh, I do like that a whole lot better. Um, some color options, uh, suspension and all that. It will be in the future, but I know for now we're just going to uh, get the car off the frame work on the frame get it coated and then go from there um when we went and picked up the car uh i couldn't record uh everything that went on when we went out there but i did get some footage of us leaving and everything uh lots of good funny jokes was going on there excited to see what the car is going to look like when we're done um and uh they were happy that the car wasn't going to be turned into a rust pile um than than what it already is so uh everything was really good going to that just didn't get all the footage of us loading it up but uh none of the wheels they're all locked up all the brakes are locked up um so we put it on dollies and got it so that way we can roll it around the shop and then um, we took the two front fenders off and then trying to get the doors off got uh, both rear and front glass taken out um, and then uh, before I was going to cover up the car because I got to get ready to paint some golf cart bodies um, I was going to show you what all we've done and, and then kind of like see show you what the damage looks like but uh it's going to be fun, that's for sure. It's going to be fun doing everything to it. Um, and then we'll talk more about the future of this car and if we decide to buy more. Um, I do have other few cars that I am looking at. Um, so kind of kind of expanding the business to do trucks and cars, but an older model car is restoring. Um, we do body work and everything else like that painting You know, we do it all the whole nine yards is what we're getting into and we're just wanting to actually do our own shop uh, One bad habit car that we can take to a car show and then we got trucks that we can take to the truck shows so um, We can have lots of fun in the future with it So that was the plan the whole plan about getting this car and not only that it is a it will it is one of my dreams to build one of these cars and, and you know put the big wheels on it and everything else like that get it just have fun but uh that's pretty much it until we start actually getting to work on it there i am getting some parts ordered so that way and then getting my welder fixed so that way we can start working on this but uh just wanted to keep you updated and we will keep you updated the whole route Everything will be recorded on this with everything that we do. So have a blessed day. Go like, subscribe, um, leave a comment of what you think we should do to the car or, or if we're making a big mistake, uh, just say that. Um, like I said, we're just going to have fun with it. So just let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, share it on Facebook. Uh, and uh, have a blessed day. And we'll see you in the next one.